Just got this in the mail. Let's see if I can't get this open. Oh. Another bag. Another bag. Wow. Another bag. <laughs> Alright, is it in the last bag? I think it is. Here it is. Pow. Yeah, this router has a little 3.5 millimeter headphone jack on the back. Not really sure why they did that in 2012, but it's going to come in handy today in 2022. An Apple router from 2012 with a headphone jack. Here's why it comes in handy in 2022. The reason why this device is useful today is not so much as a router, but more so as a music streaming box. Apple posthumously updated this router back in 2018 to support Apple AirPlay 2, which is the current Apple streaming standard today. Okay, great, but why would I want this? So I have a hi-fi setup in my living room and I was thinking of ways that I could AirPlay to it. My first guess was to copy what I did with the Amazon ecosystem and have an Echo Dot with a uh, 3.5 millimeter to RCA cable plugged into the back of it. However, Apple didn't include a headphone jack on neither the HomePod or the HomePod Mini, which makes connecting existing hi-fi setups to your Apple ecosystem a little more complicated. Currently, if you want to AirPlay to a set of nice speakers that you have in your house, uh, there just aren't that many options. Uh, I will mention right off the bat that there is also a portable AirPlay receiver out there from Belkin, but it's a little pricey at about a hundred bucks and it's a third party product. So if you're interested in a first party option built from Apple for less than half the price, stay tuned. So here's the scoop. I picked up this Airport Express base station router it's the A1392 model, very specific. It has to be that model. I picked it up on eBay for $38 with shipping. So here's how it works. The Airport Express is technically a router, but if you're watching this video on your home Wi-Fi, then you likely already have a router. So it's best not to muddy the waters by setting up the airport as a second router. What we're gonna do instead is select the option to join an existing network while we set this up. It's pretty easy to do. Mine didn't connect to my network over Wi-Fi at first. I had to find an ethernet cable in a drawer and just plug it into the back and plug it into my router. And once I did that, it picked up a IP address, it was connected to my network, and when I unplugged it, uh, it connected to Wi-Fi straight away after that. So once it was connected to my Wi-Fi, I plugged it in behind the stereo where it's now at home. The next steps are pretty easy. Once the Airport Express is set up, it will automatically appear as a speaker device on the AirPlay menu. Just tap it from the list to enable it like any other AirPlay device. Wait a tick for it to connect, and then you're good to go. Your iDevices audio is now coming out of your hi-fi setup. This is super convenient for me because I'm always switching between my iPhone, my iPad, my AirPods, my Apple TV, and walking in and out of my office in the living room. So with so many Apple devices in the mix, it just didn't make sense for me to have to ask uh, you know, who to play something from Apple Music. Uh, not to mention if something isn't on Apple Music or if, uh, you know, who can't understand you, the whole process of voice control breaks down. Whereas with the AirPlay, you can just tap, type whatever into your phone, AirPlay it, switch between different apps, different audio sources, whatever you want. So now I can finally listen to things easily and quickly from my iPhone to my floor standing Yamaha speakers. That's a very specific use case to be sure and a lot of people could say it's not really worth the $38, but it just illustrates how much more flexible and easy it is to manage this setup for those of us with predominantly Apple households. So for $38 and a couple minutes of setup, I would say this little white box is well worth it to add AirPlay 2 functionality to my hi-fi setup. The only thing that's missing is voice control from Siri right in the living room. However, that's not super important to me because I usually have my phone near me, or if not, I'm wearing my Apple Watch, I can ask Siri on there. Um, but if I, if I don't have Siri around for some reason, I'm going to have to switch the input on the stereo to the Echo Dot anyways. So I, if I'm already getting up, I might as well just go get my phone anyway. So it's same difference. Thanks for watching and hit the like button if you like this video and leave a comment if you have any questions about how I use the Apple ecosystem or about the Apple ecosystem in general. Do you love it? Do you hate it? Let me know. Thanks for watching. Peace.